I was originally going through and wrote a whole bunch of slides and trying to get this into perfection, but you know, I hate to say it because it sounds corny, but it is a science. So it is going to evolve over time anyway, and I'll have to update these videos. So I may as well just talk freely, generate some conversation among the people who are listening to these videos and try and keep it in a short sort of lecture format takes us back to union school sorry about that but they'll be quick to get the point across quickly the introduction is just basically talking about the points that i'll be talking about when i put start building me together it was a concept that i came up with originally to get people who have never trained before specifically kids but also people who are rebuilding themselves as was the case with me to do things properly um, a lot of healthcare expenditure comes from sedentary lifestyle and overconsumption specifically around 60 percent in australia and uh, i think that this can be tackled by getting education involved from a younger age so you know in the end we won't need that much physical rehabilitation and forms of surgery um, dietitians uh, rehabilitation specialists like physios and chiros which is you know great we need those for you know accidents and stuff that happens but a lot of it can be mitigated and can save a lot of costs but anyway so i thought this would be cool to test it on people that i know kids uh, in my family, uh, friends who, you know, have let themselves go slightly in their 20s and 30s, but also people who just have never really had a crack at it. Um, and the fact that anybody can be doing this, you can have a disability, you can still, man, you can even roll around. It was the case with me in a wheelchair after a motorcycle crash in 2017. Um, there's many ways to get fit, and this is what I'm going to talk about in these video series. Um, the main focal point will be consistency. So, you know, if you do one weight training session a week or have one big ride a week and that's it, it's almost pointless, you know? I mean, go for it for a feel-good factor, but it's just not gonna cut it. You have to do something pretty much every day. Uh, they've talked about 35 minutes of intermediate exercise a day being a mandate for your brain functioning alone, let alone physical function. So, you know, get your head around that. Um, Exercise is something that can come in many different forms and this is what I'm going to talk about different types of exercise but it can be as simple as just walking or doing grip strength exercises and that will be one category that I talk about diet what you should eat when you should eat it how much you should eat pretty straightforward something that most people really have no clue at all about it's kind of frightening to me uh, and the biggest problem with healthcare I think and mind stuff like um how to strengthen your mind, how to make sure you can keep on doing this for the rest of your life. 